Welcome back to another video everyone. It feels like it's been like 20 years since I posted but like I only post twice a week now. I remember I used to do like four to five times. It's a little stressful hectic. I have summer school going on tomorrow. It hasn't happened yet and got got to lift, got to do stuff, make money. So powerlifting can be a little overwhelming when you got a lot of things to do because it takes long. That's why I don't like SBD days. But that's what this video is going to be. SBD video but not day monday was the squat and bench squat was at 1 p.m bench was like at 9 p.m and that was not a good session for bench squat eh, wasn't the best <laughs> monday was squat bench and that was my birthday it was just horrible I just turned 27 not a good birthday session like for both of those but yesterday tuesday june 1st was good deadlift session and let's just get to it here it is so here's my last warm up for squat this is the this is the squat bench day. It's not an SPD day. Four ten and a half. That was like super hard. I think I leaned a little forward. It's hard to tell, but it felt like that in the moment. That sucked. I was debating on stopping there because I was supposed to do top sets of four this week, but I just I didn't. It wasn't feeling good, so I decided just four twenty five. The basic single that I've been doing most of the prep, and it was eh, it was a nine. It wasn't. I can't say it was an eight. It was it was a nine. Eight point five is putting it lightly. So nine for sure um i wanted like 410 or 415 for fours but that just it wasn't happening um i don't think i'm gonna be doing anything over a double maybe triple but four right now fours were just too much so we just went with basic singles this 370 for a 404 and that was super hard i think the garage it was like 1 p.m it was really hot and i think that had something to do with it i just ate yeah, ground beef and rice, and then after that, we got pizza, but this was before that, and I didn't drink enough. I just think it was hot more than anything, um, but I didn't feel bad. I, I'm not using that as an excuse. Could have been a factor. I mean, I could just be weak. I think that's the bigger factor. Um, these working sets were pretty horrible, because 380 last week for a 4x2 was pretty easy. So this, obviously, 4x4 four four is pretty hard for 370. It's only 10 pounds less, but I wanted last block i did 355 for a 4 by 4 to start off that block the first week so this for this first week of this last block i wanted to do you know something reasonable 15 pounds more it's not that crazy i didn't want it to be like 360 barely anything over or three i guess 365 wouldn't have been bad which is just the two reds and the blue that's a 45 not a 44 just in case anyone tries to correct me um yeah squats weren't good honestly this um that was my birthday too uh squats and bench was on my birthday one was at 1 p.m ish it took about two hours so one to three around there and the the bench was like at night and i just didn't feel good after eating that four slices of pizza some i think three six wings and they had ground beef and rice earlier like before this session and two bags of hot cheetos i just didn't feel amazing but it wasn't the black hot cheetos the black bag i love those those always ruin my stomach it was the normal red ones and those taste like nothing compared to the black ones because they're way hotter um but i didn't feel good for the bench session which is shows after this that was the s s uh squat b squat bench sb day um deadlift i just i mean it was a, it was a long day i didn't want to deadlift that late at night i didn't have a pre-workout either because i just like to do one pre-workout i mean i do i've done two obviously but i just had a rain or it was a bang actually yeah bang um and then right here is nothing and this is my last warm up 253. Honestly, I just didn't feel good. Uh, I got those sweats for my birthday. The, everything I'm wearing was for my birthday. Those sweats and that shirt. It's Nike joggers. And they were way too tight. So I think that was kind of a factor. I only did 265. Last week was 270 when I fell to 80. And the week before 275. So this is 10 pounds under my max. And it was kind of hard but i knew i was gonna get it um but the warm-ups were horrible 133 felt heavy so i tried a 4x4 with 243 because everything's been easy lately and man that was way too hard for two i just did one but i was like i'm not two will be hard so i'm putting that back i went all the way down to 230 and i started the last block 235 4x4 on the first week so i downgraded and i think i did last week 258 for a 4x2 so i don't know i think it i don't know what it is it looks like the bar pad range of motion is way longer so my arc wasn't i mean the mark looks fine though i'm looking at it right now but i think in my opinion those uh joggers are too tight they're comfortable but to bench in i can't stretch my legs out because i put my legs really wide i do like a sumo bench with my legs maybe that was why i don't know i just felt really weak and everything i felt it in my chest and when i bench i never feel it in my chest like it felt like i was doing push-ups on my upper chest it was weird kind of like dips <clears throat> so like I never felt that. I always feel it on my back when I chest because, you know, when I chest, when I do bench because I always use my back. You know, you're supposed to use your back, retract your scapula and all that. But I just felt it in my chest. It felt like I was doing like uh, just flat bench, like no arc in my back at all. It was, I did not feel good. This is the worst bench day of my life. 
And I don't know why I felt like I was benching with my arms because my arms were hurting. It was weird. It was like the weirdest thing ever. This is like by far the worst bench session ever, ever, ever. I mean, at least I benched 265 and I didn't. I mean, I felt OK on the singles, but working sets, for some reason, something possessed me to feel horrible. Like I just didn't feel good. I didn't. I don't know what it was like i felt like how i felt in 2017 and that's when i was really weak <laughs> i'm weak now but back then oh god 245 was a mission so this is the last warm-up 475 it was actually easier than the one before which was 445 i cut my face off i hate when i do that and top single i decided to go at 490 i didn't feel great but i was like i got it it's only 15 more pounds and honestly it was pretty good it was like a solid nine solid like a solid solid nine um i could have done my max which is 512 but i'm not doing that i'm saving energy um i went to redeem myself for uh yesterday because this is well this is gonna be posted wednesday but yesterday's session monday this was tuesday it didn't go good so tuesday just deadlift day i wanted to dedicate just to deadlifts and i wanted to just redeem myself and i did in my opinion because it was so horrible the day before so this is a uh, 385 for the four by four. Honestly, my every single set was super easy, but I just had to readjust my hands because that knurling just hurts so much. Like it's a new Texas deadlift bar, but like I'm used to it. It just still hurts my left one more than anything. The supinated hand, it just really, really hurts. It was light though. It flew like it really flew, but like it just hurt my hands and like some sets I even had to get up. I think I got up just on the last set. I forgot, but like it just hurts. It took long because of that. So I think bending over longer and fixing my hands like right here and I'm readjusting my feet because the crack in the middle it bothers me. But one side's also bigger than the other and I don't want, I mean, I don't want to step on the crack and be too elevated. I just want to be as even as possible in the center of the non knurling. And it was okay. It was just honestly, it was just the knurling. Deadlifts were amazing. I was real happy about deadlifts. It took me about, I think, two hours to do that. Damn, that's long. I don't remember. I forgot. I like to keep track of my workouts time because I'm huge on time management, but I kind of forgot. So, yeah, I was going to go do DoorDash after this, but I was so dead. Like, I was dead after this deadlift day, even though it wasn't hard. But, you know, 385 pounds is no joke either. Like, it's not e it's not heavy. It's, e it's easy for me. It's light. But, I mean, after that and a single and a bunch of warm-ups, you don't feel, like, ready to run a marathon either or do a sprint compared to like someone who's stronger than me you know 500 may be late for someone like doing a 500 for a four by four but i'm pretty sure most people will be tired after 500 pounds four by four <laughs> me i'm 150 pounds away from that but i don't know i just i was pretty dead and more than anything the knurling just messed me up like i find it hard to believe that i still haven't gotten used to that knurling um besides the knurling really it's funny because it only messes up my left hand it pokes the shit out of me um that's the only thing that made it hard 385 was easy and that was that was like perfect way i'm glad i chose it yeah, and i had to get up right there i hate that i got up it ruins everything when i move my feet when they're already planted i hate doing it but i have to because i don't want to be too left or too right stand up take off my hands because the knurling so sharp uh certain things throw me off but i was able to get it done and it was it was for sure better than the day before it was a good makeup day <laughs> uh, especially for being a primary day not a secondary day so those are the videos you saw like i said my deadlift is better than my squat now i truly believe that like i'm i'm close to my deadlift max on top set top singles and i am too on squats i mean i've done 435 that was 425 that's ew, how much is that that's 26 pounds under my max deadlift well, well yeah it's 22.5 pounds under my max 490 my max is 512.5 squat my max is 451 even though that was an easy max, but it's still my max. I've never done more than that. Bench, I've hit my max 275. Last week was 270. This week, 265. But I truly think those joggers were just too tight. I got them for my birthday. Like, I just can't stretch them. Like, I really go wide on, on bench, on my legs, and I just couldn't stretch them. So I really think that was why. And I couldn't get... I got okay leg drive, but I just... I think that was why, because I'm doing spotter right now. I'm warming up, and I'm strong again. Like, I'm strong like I was. I was really weak. 230. Like, when was the last time I've done 230? I don't think I've done that in a long time since my last meet. So uh birthday week eh. uh, no big deal i still got i'm about to start peaking probably next week i'll be five and a half weeks out next week because it's uh national is july 15th on a thursday on a thursday it lands on a weird day um so yeah five and a half weeks out start peaking because i go easy meet week like it's a pretty much taper deload week and i can't wait for that i have a good feeling about it i didn't mind doing 265 on bench even though it was like hard because of those joggers like don't bench on joggers if you go wide like seriously I'm wearing shorts right now. It's going amazing. Spottle. Not posting that though, but overall it's okay. Not bad. Um, it really counts. It really starts next week. Like, you know, probably setting some PRs 
or close to PRs because I have certain numbers in mind that I want to hit, but I always leave some in the tank and leave my third uh, attempts on the platform. So all that matters is meet day for sure. Can't wait for meet day. Can't wait to start peaking. That's it for the video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and see you meet day.